So, Doctor Who Season 1 or 14 or 40, depending on how long you are allowed to remember, has a new trailer. The second trailer. I looked at the first trailer on Who TF Live last night, and you might want to check that out if you are interested. But for now, stick with me because we'd better have a look at the second. So, no spoilers, this video is going to get demonetized. I see you, BBC. The original trailer gave us a look at the not-so-doctor Shuti Gatwa acting like a CBBC host in the 90s, shouting needlessly, rushing through lines, and having so many different costume changes to render his own Doctor style, his look, a staple of the show, completely irrelevant. There were also shots of the Regency period, with about 50,000% more black people than actually were in the aristocracy, or the court during that particular period, while Ruby Sunday keeps making references to Bridgerton, a show that is entirely fictional, unlike the more grounded, historically accurate, or at least it's supposed to be, Doctor Who. But in a universe with mavity instead of gravity and at um, least brown Isaac Newton, anything goes, right? I mean, it's not supposed to, but yeah, apparently it does. At least I hope this time I'll be able to ascertain exactly just how much all singing and all dancing fluff I'm going to have to sit through when the time comes to review this series for all of you. So sit tight and let's let the punishment begin. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name's Will, see what I did there and... You know, full disclosure, I've recorded this video twice. Both times I had to stop after a couple of minutes because of technical issues. So this time, I'm hoping I make it all the way to the end without tearing my hair out. And, uh, well, let's just see how. If you're enjoying the video, then like it. If you'd like to support me, then subscribe. It would be lovely because this is not a pleasant experience. All right, then. Here we go. And apologies for the logo on the screen. I can't risk the BBC thinking that they own my transformative reaction to their content. So anyway, here we go. You ready for this? Right, okay, so straight out of the gate, he is uh, talking to the camera. Straight out of the gate. You ready for this? No. No, I'm not. This is cringe. Why are you talking to the camera? It's supposed to be the doctor, not Dr. Cam. Okay, we've got the same building, the unit headquarters that's about as covert as Avengers Tower. Uh, shot of him looking a bit like, I want to say Shaft, is that, I think, yeah, he's got the afro, although the sharp suit, I'm not sure exactly if that's, it be, definitely does give off some Shaft, which of course would be black exploitation and thus racist, but who cares, right, TARDIS in the living room, of course, I'm not having this, I'm no, God. Yeah. I literally haven't got this far in the trailer yet. Is that Yasmin Finney? Is that Jason Noble working for UNIT? Isn't he slash she slash they slash who gives a shit supposed to be like 15 years old? Wasn't that the point? That was what everyone was so angry about, having an, an underage trans person. And then wink at the camera. Straight away. Oh, this is shite. What the oh my god, okay. Now he's in his greaser costume again. The black leather jacket and the white vest. Always the gold chains though, isn't it? Every black stereotype you can imagine, isn't it? Stay back! Stay back! Stay back. Oh god, I'm just so gay! Want to rip my eyes out. To rock, through... yeah, to rock through space. No, it's time. Rock through time. That's what it literally says in the description. Stupid. Look at this. Let me take the image off for a second. What is this? He looks like the cat from Red Dwarf. <laughs> oh, yeah! Feed me! <laughs> oh, this is ludicrous. You know, right? 
if you actually look up, because, you know, I want it to be accurate. Earlier on, I kind of looked up. I wanted to know, once and for all, how many black members of the court there were in the Regency period. And so few, apparently, that um, the same three names kept coming up, no matter how far and why I searched. Even if you want to believe that there's a narrative being spun here, you would think they'd have at least invented a few more. No. So that's enough, that's few enough that everybody would be known in the court. And if one, one more were to show up, people would be probably quite shocked. Certainly not believable that this guy would just be able to rock up looking like Danny John Jules in 1990 and just be accepted by Jesus. Oh, this is so Bridgerton. Yes, yes, it is. It is so Bridgerton. That's not a compliment. This is Ruby. You are. This is Ruby. Uh, you're wild, brave, and rude. Oh, yes, you're so great because you're rude. Because manners cost nothing. But, uh, but they're offensive because, of course, we're so progressive. Yeah, okay. You know, I don't mind her at all. I don't mind her. She doesn't bother me. She seems like a fine assistant. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> What's that look on his face? It's like he's come out the door and he's going, Postman Shaft! Postman Shaft! <laughs> Shall we go anywhere? Crossing Abbey Road, I guess. Uh, sorry, but something has to be done about this dress sense. It's appalling. Who wears a short-sleeved woolen jersey with a zipper? Oh yeah, of course. It's you. Space babies. Ah, space babies. Space babies. Talking space babies. Now, I know the doctor said when Eleven was in the role that he could talk baby. But, ugh. Oh. Let's just go. Crap. Lame. Is it safe? I mean, there's all the T Rex with its mouth split into three. Listen to me. Okay, this looks a bit more serious. This is this looks like it could be something kind of dramatic going on. Maybe that's the Moffa episode. I don't know. All of life extinguished. All of life extinguished. Well, that's about the usual stakes. You keep us safe. Another costume change. You keep us safe. Keep us safe. He then, we see him looking appalled and... Yeah. <laughs> He's crying again. Oh my god, dude. What is wrong? Why can't you stop crying? How many times do we see David Tennant cry? One or two tears for Rose. A couple for the master. Maybe I don't want to go. But definitely. <laughs> and of course, they, they told him to tone down the crying for the I don't want to go. Because, you know, they didn't want the doctor to look like a blubbery wreck. But don't get me wrong, this is only a single tear from Shooty here, but. It's like three times he's cried now in two episodes. <laughs> Not even two episodes. This will be the third time, whatever episode this is. Ah, oh, it's terrible. Come on. We've got work to do. Ah. Oh. You gotta have that, haven't you? Come on. We got work to do, and then he's like. Ah. Oh. Um, oh, what the hell is that? Oh, God, that's Jinx Monsoon. <laughs> the maestro. Oh, looking like a gay Cruella de Vil, like a drag queen Cruella de Vil. With a weird American accent. They always got to do that. Why does he speak with a soft R? Why can't Shuti Gatwa, the professional actor, do a British accent? He sounds sort of half Chev, right? Like, 
me, I'm going to murk you back to your roots, blood. But then, but then he's like, got a, a soft R, like an American shut R. Into I'll shut up this silly little battlefield into dust, innit? it? I'll shank you, fam. In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. It's like he's grown up in sort of East London and Exeter. Into dust. Into dust. Oh, God, I'm intimidated now. This was his moment to convince me that he's the doctor. And if anything, he's only convinced me further. He's not. Not got the gravitas. There, once again, we got Shaft. And... Oh, God. Let's get to the end. Oh, God, this is terrible. This is trash. In the next, in the next. No. Oh, no. He's singing. And everybody's doing the synchronized dancing. God, no. You bastards. You've done it again, haven't you? Singing in the rain. No. Seriously, that jersey. Someone set fire to it. Awful. And that's just the beginning. Oh, and that's just the beginning. Can you imagine another doctor doing that line? Can you imagine David Tennant doing that line? He's probably the most likely to do that line. What about Eccleston? No. No chance in hell. What about, what about Patrick Trout or William Hartnell? John Pertwee? Well, Pete Davidson, Colin Baker, Tom Baker. The doctor had gravitas. He had a bit of class about him. This is just a smug, preening wanker. There's nothing doctor about this. Screw it. Utter garbage. Utter garbage. Nothing remotely interesting. Just, except for maybe the CGI is better, but I'd happily take the crappy 2005 CGI with Eccleston's acting and the writing that RTD was putting in. And this rancid toss Davros is putting out now. <sighs> That's enough. That's enough for me. This trailer sucks. The show's going to suck. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to Will and the Fans. If you'd like to put me out of my misery by giving me something to smile about. Thank you very much. I'll be back with another video for you very, very soon. But until then, remember to question everything. Respect the fans. And I'll chat to you next time.